The state government says the park's community centre will not be closed in any way, shape or form. The assurance has come as the Social Inclusion Commissioner takes up a new role as a lead negotiator on the park's future. The Premier Mike Rann wouldn't front the media today, preferring to tweet throughout the afternoon about his government's back down on a budget decision to bulldoze the parks and sell much of the land for housing. Social Inclusion Commissioner Monsignor David Capo, not Mr Rann or a minister, faced the cameras instead. In no way, shape or form will the parks close. That's the message that I've been given. After a growing outcry accusing the ALP of selling out western suburbs battlers, Monsignor Capo has been anointed by the Premier to consult with the community on the future use of the parks. His findings aren't expected for several months, but he's already given some clue to the expected outcome. My sense would be um, upgrade everything that we've got. Monsignor Capo says he told the Premier pre-budget social welfare cuts such as the park's closure would be a mistake, despite being part of the committee which recommended them. It's obviously been quite badly handled, there's no doubt about that. Uh, this, uh, it should not be put forward without major discussion and consultation with the community. Mr Rand tweeted that critics would complain no matter what decision he took. The local member infers he also criticised the policy. I've said all I was ever going to say about it in private. Well, sometimes you get more achieved by doing things quietly. The opposition says the government has lost touch with its Labor heartland. They still seem to think that the uh, people of the western suburbs can be taken for granted and that they will always vote Labor no matter what. The jobs of about 80 full-time and part-time park staff, which were to be axed, are now expected to continue indefinitely. Angelique Johnson, ABC News, Adelaide.